Lima, and we are the Zero Lab Legends. Um, our game is Cougar's Desperate Dash, and as you can see by the theme, <coughs> our target uh, audience are like the older kids, maybe 10 year olds. And um, the vision for us is that the player takes on the role of Shasta, and he's the last healthy cougar in the world that has been infected by a zombie virus. Um, the evil zombie, the Owl King, inspired by uh, Rice University's mascot. Um, and his minions are on the relentless pursuit to capture the cougar before it reaches the antidote to save the animal kingdom. It's, we thought it was kind of an animal kingdom, kind of like Madagascar the movie. Um, and our platform will be PC. The genre would be a combination of like endless runner, adventure, survival kind of thing, and um, single player. So the story of the game, the setting is gonna be an apocalyptic city and it will show like, at the beginning we wanna show like the vibrant city of kind of what it used to be. And then it increasingly gets decrepit. So it's like deter deteriorating as it goes. And that way you can see what it used to be and how the zombies are affecting it. Uh, the protagonist is Shasta, the antagonist is Sambo the Owl King. And the conflict is that he's trying to reach the antidote before he fully converts into a zombie. So it'll start with him getting clawed by the owl, and so it, he'll progressively turn into a zombie if he doesn't reach it. Yeah, I don't know what the pictures are. There's some pictures, there's already some art that has been designed, but they're not coming up. In the final zone, so there's, he's gonna traverse, traverse through like four different zones that get increasingly complicated. And in the final one, he must navigate like a highly challenging maze to reach the antidote, and he'll have a final battle that ensues against the zombie king. Graphics and sound design. So uh, basically, through the game, we're gonna have our cougar that transforming to become uh, a zombie as he's losing points over the game. So uh, we are working on the, on the design to uh, be able to come up with something that's gonna be fun while uh, we playing the game and being able to change different uh, graphics and make the sound really attractive to uh, kids that are our target. The sound we wanna do like a tense of like tense music and like melancholic tunes, like a sad kind of world. Um, and I'll also include a little bit of like the animals that used to be there, noises that now sound like animals but like in a zombie mode. Do you want to do that? So he will be driving most of the time and he'll duck his head when the minions try like to claw him or take him. Um, the vehicle is gonna be moving forward. We kind of, somebody brought the idea of like, um, Subway surfers, or please, like, oh, just moving to the right like Mario did. Um, not, not really any powers, but he'll have a few power ups. And so yeah, the, the, the there's also gonna be like a health bar that, that'll be decreasing every time he gets hit by obstacles or attacked by the minions. And he'll be showing signs of zombification. If the health bar is depleted, it'll, it'll transform fully into a zombie and the level resets. So like wherever he fully transforms into a zombie, you can go back to that part. Because remember there were four different zones that he'll be in. Um, and that one was like the Contra game from the 80s. Items and power-ups, anybody want to talk about those? No? So we're gonna have some speed up. Basically the car will be able to speed. Um, we're gonna adjust like the, the speed of the, the car. And whenever he gets you, uh, bump or uh, an obstacle, it will slow down. And we also gonna have some uh, some kids like to make him earn like more life as he's going. And um, yeah, we also have uh, bones basically uh, that will slow his speed and trees uh, that will help him kind of like jumping uh, if he sees any obstacle. And we're gonna have like the, the little minion oil that also coming on on the top so we can go down so we basically gonna have uh, four different direction movement of that, that's it so oh. overall it will get more difficulties as he, as he progresses through the game kind of like he never really reaches the antidote but he's collecting it as he goes